this uh, subject started um, some three or four months before my last visit to the UK when I talked about and then I gave a class to them uh, on uh, how to use tile flow to do some uh, cost operating cost calculations and, and some ROI kind of benefits. And then it came to a, a head here just recently with Andy Woods requesting something for Annexter. And so I kind of just put together a case study and then uh, with Steve putting this on the agenda here gave me really the, the motivation to come up with a way to explain what I did so that it, hopefully it makes sense to everybody. You, you guys can be the judge of that when we, when we get to the end of it. So what the first, I've got two things we're going to look at here. The first one is going to be the information that our salespeople will be able to show customers as a case study. And then the second part will be an explanation of the process that went into creating the case study, which would also be the process that the technical folks in this room could use to collaborate together to produce uh, additional studies around specific customer uh, applications. All right. So the case study, we got a 1,605 square foot data center. We got the load, the number of cabinets, the uh, air handlers were set up with an N plus one. So that means we thought we needed five. So we're gonna, we've got six in this space. The raised floor, you know, all the particulars of the environment. All right, just kind of the basic layout. And it looks like the space looks like this that was described in that first slide, okay? And, and so we're, we're gonna look at the first case study as an optimized hot aisle, cold aisle. Now by optimized, I mean it's, it's standard compliant and represents all best practices for hot aisle, cold aisle, right? The air handlers are located at the right places at the ends of the rows. We've got filler panels in all the unused rack mount spaces. We've got cold locks. We've got everything, right? So everything is done as well as, uh, as really as possible to do in a standard hot aisle, cold aisle data center. So we're, we've got a chilled water loop of 45 degrees. We've got our supply air at 55 degrees based on a 72 degree set point on the return air. Our air handlers are running at 80% of capacity. Now, if you think, if, if I'm running uh, six for five, what's full capacity? Anybody with me on this? 80%. Yeah, you got two less. 83, 83 and a third percent, right? Okay. Five sixth, right? So if I'm, if I'm running six air handlers, uh, four, five, a hundred percent capacity would be 83 and a third. So you can see I was able to turn them all down a little bit and still cool the room. And that's, that's the first part of the methodology here with, with this case study is that we're not creating a, a, a poor stepchild, you know, that that's like an ugly worst practice to compare our solution to. But really, we're giving it the best we can, right? So we're, we're saving some money on the fan energy. Um, we're delivering 82,800 CFM for a demand of 70,965. Our, our server inlet temperatures range from 58.6 to 79.7. So that tells me I couldn't do anything more with the supply temperature. I couldn't do anything more with the water temperature. Right, because I'm I'm in there, uh, you know, as close as I can get to the to the threshold on uh, the maximum recommended inlet temperature. 
So I've got a total fan energy of 252,000 kilowatt hours a year and uh, my chiller energy at a million one hundred kilowatt hours a year. All right, and, and that that I'll show you where the uh, the uh, chiller energy comes from in the second presentation, which goes through the uh, how how we did all this. So then we compared that to a VED data center, and we see that we raised the chill water loop temperature to 65 degrees. We moved the set point from return to supply. We raised it to 75. I dropped the air handler capacity to 73%. So now I only need 75,000 CFM to uh, meet the demand of 71,000 CFM on the servers. My uh, server inlet temperatures range from 75 to 76 degrees. I'm down to 189,000 kilowatt hours for fans and 725,000 kilowatt hours for the chiller plant. So I look at uh, the standard data center, total energy requirement of 1,400,000 kilowatt hours, a VED data center of uh, 914,000 kilowatt hours. So we're saving $52,000 a year at 10 cents a kilowatt hour, if that's going to be our electrical cost. And so if, if we are, are going to use a $600 price delta for how much more our solution would cost than, than a, a non-cabinet so, or non-chimney solution, you got an extra $36,000 of acquisition cost. That'll take you eight months, eight and a half days to pay back that investment. And in the uh, five years, you have an ROI of 224,000. In 10 years, you have an ROI of 485,000. So this is just an example of at 10 cents a kilowatt hour for the conditions of this case study, you would have this kind of result. So now